point, we're going to try to keep the heat high enough that it will saute those mushrooms at the same time and, and get rid of any water that it would collect, especially with them being very small. So we're going to go ahead and pour in the rest of the potatoes and onions alike. Yeah, we're just going to keep that pan high. So you already know when the pan is high, what? You better keep stirring and stirring quickly and getting it moving around in there. Okay, we're just going to continue to stir this around. Now, at this point, you need to make sure you're not putting the top on it because you don't want the moisture at this point. You want to try to get a burn on it first, and then we'll think about the moisture because, remember, it's going to go back into that pot and where the water and things are to make the soup. And at this point, we're just trying to get the temperature as high as we can so we can put a burn on what we can. Now, if you need to add some more oil, feel free to add some more. Remember, you're using avocado oil, so you're in the clear. At this point, we're going to add some of our dry ingredients. And I'm going to use this right here, the chicken, kicked up chicken seasoning. Now, be mindful, you can use any of the seasonings you like. But the seasonings that have a salt value to it, you want to make sure you're backing off of those because you do not want it to be too salty. Number one, because you're going to be adding cheese curds. And cheese curds have a high salt value to them. Or not really high, but you don't want to add that and add a bunch of salt. It's not going to be, you're not going to be able to eat it. Okay, we got some pepper going in here. You want at least a teaspoon of pepper. I like pepper, that's why I'm saying a teaspoon because I can do quite a bit of pepper and be okay with it. Um, you want to add to some garlic powder or fresh garlic. And then, well, that's plenty. We're going to move that around because that's in one spot. So let's uh, move that around. Okay. And let's see what else we got here. I might want to throw in there. Um, let's see some parsley points. Okay, here we go. We got some parsley flakes. I always like my little parsley flakes. Okay. There you go. Okay. Now continue to move that around. Like I said, it's on high because we want to get that burn. I'm going to bring that flavor out in there. It's going to be delicious. Yeah. So just keep it moving quickly. Yeah. Fixing meals like this will show you how much our mothers and people that cook for us really love us. Because it's a lot of work. Now, I'm telling you, it's a lot of work. But the end, end game is delicious. That's for sure. Oh, I wish you could smell that. Oh, oh, that is, mm, that smells delicious. That's so delicious, man. I'm telling you. Oh. But you know, anytime you're cooking potatoes and onions, anything of that nature, it's going to be that delicious aroma. Yes, this is beautiful. Even at this point, sometimes if I can't get the burn that I want, I'll just add a little flour at this point, and you can make your own thickener. But I like to add, um, a can of cream of mushroom soup kind of makes it easier. Plus, I'm making a larger portion. If it's a smaller portion, at this point, you could have added your flour, made your own little thickener, and just a little bit at a time, built up the juices in the soup. But this is going to be a little bit easier on you. So just keep on putting a burn on this. And then once we get to the point where we're ready to put this back into the pot and start adding our other ingredients, I'll let you know. Now, once you see the burn has got to this point where there's no water when you're moving it around, now you're ready to put that top on it because now all the flavor has been enhanced. And you can go ahead and put the top on it. Now we're going to start adding the moisture back into it. 
All right. When you're cutting up that spinach, I want that spinach cut as fine and as small as you can get it, which is going to dissipate and disappear into the thing anyway. And then you're going to add at least a cup of avocado. Now we have the frozen kind, so you want to let it thaw a little bit, and then you can chop it up some afterwards. So see here. Yeah, you're just going to make those a little bit smaller, but you want to use at least a cup of it. So we're going to get that chopped up, and then we're going to start putting this into the bag. All right, we'll take that top off. Now you can see this is really, oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Add some little, yes, that's what we're talking about. Yes, okay. At this point, now we're going to add in our spinach and avocado. All right. I'm going to put that on in there. And we've almost forgot about the artichoke, but it's not too late. So we're going to get that in there with this buddies too. And we're just going to turn this down on low and start letting all this marinate together. Oh, this is beautiful, people. Look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. Yes, that is just lovely. So you're going to get that mixed up. We're going to turn this on low. Now, remember, we had it up on high. We're going to turn it down. We're just going to let this start marinating in there with one another, especially the avocado, because it'll melt down. And that is, oh, my goodness. Oh, I wish you could smell this. This is amazing. Yeah, this is amazing, people. Yeah, this is so amazing. Now, remember, we forgot to throw that artichoke in there, so we're going to uh, pause for the cause and get that artichoke so we can throw it in there real quick. We'll just pop the top on this and cut up that artichoke and get it in there real quick. Now, we bought artichoke in a jar, so it's pretty much cooked, so it's not going to be, like, hard or anything. So we're just going to go ahead and put the top on this while we get that artichoke cut up. And it's on low, so you'll be okay to leave it. Okay, we've got the artichoke, and we're just going to... Pour it in this bowl. Pour it in the bowl because we want to take the juice off of it. We don't want that juice that's on the artichoke in there. And most of it did well. It stayed in the jar. So now we're going to get it out the jar and just cut this up so we can go ahead and add it to the pot. Now, don't be alarmed. Your cutting board probably looks a mess, but those are all the lovely juices and food that you've already added to the pot. So it's not going to be an issue. Now, yeah. Now we're going to go ahead and get this cut up. And we're adding that to the pot. Oh, I can't wait, people. When I say this is smells delicious, even the seasonings that are already in this artichoke really smell good, too. So it's, like, really good. Okay. So you're just going to cut this up as small as you can get it. And then we're going to add that to the pot. You've got that cut up really well. We're going to go ahead and put this in the pot. All right, look at that. That is beautiful, people. Let's push that artichoke right on in there. There we go. Okay, we've got all those wonderful seeds. Now we're going to get this stirred up and get ready to transfer this to another pot so we can start getting the juices flowing and getting this soup coming. Oh, that is beautiful. We're working with about <clears throat> cup and a half of avocado. You probably steam it or low simmer it to get it tender. Or like I did, buy it in the jar. Uh, you're looking at a cup to a cup and a half of avocado. You're looking at two cups of spinach and you're looking at about six to eight potatoes. This is going to serve, I'm saying at least 12, but we'll um, check on the configuration. And if that's not enough, we'll add to that later. We're also going to add a can of mushroom soup. We added our seasonings earlier. And now at this point, look at that, people. That looks delicious. I could even see this on a plate with the chicken breast over top of it. This is beautiful. I'm telling you people, this is beautiful. Yeah. 
Okay, so we're going to transfer this to another pot and start adding our moist ingredients and putting this soup together. Pour the water out of the pan where we boiled our potatoes, and we're going to start putting this mixture in here. Um, yeah, we're just going to start putting it in there. Be mindful that pot is already on. So we're going to go ahead and start scooping this in there so you can hear it when it's going over. But you know what? That's the goodness. If there's a little burn to it, that's even better. That's going to take your seasoning and your flavor, I mean, maximum capacity. Your tongue will just be delighted in this. Okay, so go ahead and get all that poured in there, and we're going to start adding our wet ingredients. Okay. Now, I am not adding broth because I don't want, like I told you, the salt. But at this point, I'm going to add <clears throat> a bottle of water. It's just a regular bottle of, um, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to add a bottle of water to this. I'm just going to pour that in. Which that's equivalent to about two cups. We'll go ahead and do three cups. Go ahead and do three cups. We're going to make our soup meaty, or meaning like thicker, not as soupy at this point. Okay. That's enough. And then go ahead and get that can of mushroom soup open. I'm going to pour this in. Now, be mindful, this is on low. So we're just going to stir this around slowly. And we're going to go ahead and add that can of cream of mushroom soup to that. Okay. And just start stirring that around. Okay. Now, at this point, when you're looking at it, you're going to determine whether is this the consistency you want it to be or do you want it to be a little soupier. You know, everything's the flavor and preference. And some people like their soups a little meatier, as I would say, not with meat in them, but just, you know, a little bit more uh, texture to it. And some people like it a little soupier. So just depending on your preference, it's going to depend on at this point, if you're going to add a little bit more water or if you're going to keep it here. <clears throat> Now, as you can see, we still haven't added our cheese curds. I want this mixture to get marinated a little bit more before we turn the corner with the cheese curds. All right? So just put this on low and continue to stir this. And we're going to come back when we're ready to start popping in some of those cheese curds because we're not going to put them all in at once. All right. At this point, too, we're going to, you know, do a little tasting and I have decided that I want to add a little bit more garlic to it. And we are going to start popping in those cheese curds. Look at that. That's just beautiful, people. Just beautiful. With the steam coming up off of it. Oh, it's just delicious. Okay, we're using the white cheddar cheese curds. And just, well, I, yeah, okay, you're going to use about a cup of them. Yeah, and then just start stirring those in. And as those melt down, you can believe your flavor is going to change. Okay. Keep this on low, keep it stirred. Yeah, that's just beautiful. Now, for me, I know we added cheese curds, but I am going to add a half a cup of shredded jalapeno cheese to this, and I think that's going to be it. So let me get that, and we're going to pop that in there, let this simmer and sit, and we're going to be ready to taste this for real. Okay, here's the shredded cheese. I'm just going to put that in there. That's about enough. There you go. Everything's to flavor. If you really love it, knock your socks off. But I don't want it to overtake it. I just want it to enhance it. So here we go. We're going to put this top on. And when we come back, people, we're going to be ready to put a taste on this. Okay, hey, people, we're here. We're going to get a taste of this. Oh, I just wish you could smell it. Look at this right here. Look at this. You see this? Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Look at that, people. Oh, look at the cheese. Oh, do you see that? Oh, I can't even begin to tell you how good this is. Come on now. Okay, we got the spoon tasting spoon. Watch this. 
Okay, we got a little bit of everything. Okay. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, now let me tell you something. For you veganers or vegetarians, sprinkle you some of those uh, soy bacon bits on top. And for those of you who can go either way, take you a couple pieces of bacon, break them up, and sprinkle that on top. I'm going to tell you, this will be the best soup you ever put in your mouth. Thanks so much, people, for watching. Let me know how yours turned out. Have a great day. And I'm about to get down.